Alright guys, now that we got all the boring housekeeping crap out of the way, let's go ahead and start coding the last function that we need, the last piece of the puzzle, handling the server response. So basically we already connected with the server, we sent it a request, and typically the requests are something like process this, generate an XML file, give us a text file. So whatever we requested to do, we need to be able to handle the server response. So go ahead and copy this because we're too lazy to type it. And the function is handle server response, as I just said. And I'm going to burp. Oh, I kind of had to work for that one. All right. So basically what this program is going to do one more time is it's going to spit this out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you guys about the different states, one, two, three, and four what they all mean, why you need them all. So that's what the Ajax is going to be in this little section. And eventually, if everything worked, then it's going to give us this text right here. So before I talk to you guys about the different states, let me talk to you guys about why we even need these states and why they incorporated them into Ajax. Now, in order for any conversation to work, and I'm not just talking about two computers, I'm talking about with people. You just can't go up and start saying crap to anyone. You just can't be like, apple pie, and they'll be like, New York City, taxi, and then you just walk away. In order for a conversation to be successful, you need some certain protocol. You need some standards or guidelines. Now, this is how a conversation works with human beings. Typically, you go up to someone and you greet them. You say, hi, hello, how are you, whatever. So you say, hi, hello, that's the greeting. And then you start the me of it, the conversation. Um, do you want to go out to dinner? What are you doing today? Um, I just got a new dog. Whatever you guys want to talk about. And once you are finished, you say, goodbye, see you later. So those are the three parts of human conversation. The greeting, the conversation, and the goodbyes. Now, that's what makes conversation between people so successful, and this is also why you need different stages in a computer conversation whenever you're talking about your client talking with a server. So, that is basically what I'm going to talk to you guys about. Instead of, you know, the greeting and the goodbye, we have states 1 and 4, for example. So, the first thing I want to do is actually I just want to reference this because, oops, copy that because that's where I'm gonna be, you know, basically outputting everything. So now what I wanna do is I wanna take the D, which is gonna be a variable, set equal to document dot get element by ID the D. So now the variable, the D, right here, references this little div block. So now that we got that taken care of, what we need to do whenever we check for states is we need to set up a bunch of if statements. Now you can set up a bunch of if, or you can do if, else if, else if. That's probably the easier way. So let me go ahead and put the first if, and I'm gonna show you guys pretty much um, how you do this. Now, on your object, let me just go ahead and copy the name of that object. It has a property called ready state. Ready state. And this pretty much gets the state of its, you know, communication. Now the states are 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1 is basically when you just connect with the server. 2 and 3 are when it's processing. 4 is when the request is ready. So let me go ahead and talk to you guys about that in detail right now. So if you are ready state 1, so if the conversation just began, what ready state 1 means is basically that you established a connection with the server. So let's just go ahead and set the D print this out on the screen. So the D inner HTML plus equals kind of hiccuping now. So status one, remember that I said that I'll just put, you know, server connection established and hopefully I spelled that right. Established and since this is going to be a, a, you know, kind of a long string, I'll just go ahead and break it. Now, I want to say this before I continue. Remember that I said that there are four states that I want to go over. One, two, three, and four. Pretty much the different stages of communication between your computer and the server. Now, what's going to happen is all of these statuses, you know, status one, status two, status three, status four, they're all going to display on your browser. 
However, 